Muskie fishing has been part of Minnesota outdoor culture since the advent of the rod and reel. In years past, though, only a small percentage of anglers targeted these monsters of the deep. Well, now muskie fishing has entered the mainstream. But where is the best place to fish for them? CCO viewers say Leech Lake. So I called my old fishing buddy Angela Davis to head out in search of Minnesota's largest game fish. It's important to do your homework when you're after one of North America's largest game fish on one of the state's largest lakes. And in mid-October, when most boats have been shrink-wrapped and stored for the season, you'll find fishing guide Bob Landerville braving the elements, casting a rock pile, or working a weed line and honing his skills. I think it's more along the lines of just people are so interested because they're such interesting fish to catch. He's not just a musky guy. Bob can guide you to any species you want to catch, and his roots in this area are as deep as a lake itself. I decided to come up here in the summers, and I'd stay right with Roy Huddle, and I was his dock boy for 11 years. And it was in those early days that Bob began his fascination with the muskies in Leech Lake. Guys that actually taught me the lake were the guys that fished in the 1955 Rampage. The 55 Rampage is part of Leech Lake history that reads more like folklore when in July of 1955, conditions on Leech Lake occurred which caused a kind of musky feeding frenzy. But these pictures don't lie. And they certainly would lead one to believe that this is not your average musky lake. You know, we just have the perfect setup. We have, we have yeah, weeds, we have rock, the and the bait. We have the tulipies, the the forage for them. Well, enough background. Time to bait up. Okay, so then we'll just hook it. Just gonna hook it like that. I probably should note that fishing with a sucker minnow as big as your forearm was not a technique that either Angela or I had fished in the past. See, they can swim really good. But Bob showed the patience of Job, and we became quick studies. You know what, Angela? This is really a good time of the year to be out here. The lake is turning over, the muskie are in the, their fall feeding patterns right now. Did you know that? Uh, no, I didn't know that you knew that either. My goodness. <laughs> and now we troll and we wait. Come on, we want some action. We wore makeup and everything. <laughs> With lots of time for the mind to wander, we pondered that there seemed to be a lot of similarities between musky fishing and day-to-day -day life. So what do you think of your first musky adventure? It reminds me of dating. I yeah. mean, like the whole bait thing, you, you, you throw on something shiny, hoping that somebody comes along and gives you some attention. I can't see that. I can't see that. This looks Our, like now, Amelia's <laughs> old closet. <laughs> musky fishing being musky fishing, success isn't measured by fish caught, but rather by knowledge gained. The females in the fish world are the biggest. The females are the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bob Landerville, a Star Guide Service on Leech Lake, and we have the what? Best, Best musky fish, fish in Minnesota. Minnesota. Woo! A thank you to Bob and friends. I mean, they were great. They were surprised. Well, actually, they thought we would definitely catch a muskie, but it was really windy. It would if it was even a little bit windier we wouldn't have gone out oh that bad yeah it was really it was bad uh, it was a, a little chilly up then. there yeah yeah, yeah. Too bad. so it was not it's beautiful out there it was beautiful oh when the lake turns over it's always yes. a beautiful don't time. i sound like i, know <laughs> yeah. I was talking Boy. about bob with told your, me what to say believe your me best fishing yeah. buddy too yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, you guys fish <laughs> Angela so and I, much yeah. together well, Bob told us that he gets his biggest thrills really out of just watching others catch fish. I you bet. know, in yeah. fact, he holds an annual event in June. It's called Take a Veteran Fishing, where he invites servicemen mm. and women to share in this great resource. It's really Good for great. Him. Yeah, it That's is. great. Maybe you and Angela can knock out this one for us next week. <laughs> I think we're actually going to send Kate. Uh, we're looking for the best dance line. Uh, so these are the athletes who entertain high school sports fans everywhere. So who has the best dance line? Well, go to our Facebook page or. Yeah, do tweet Kate Raditz at Rad Report. You can also email her at uh, kraditz at wcco.com. So that'll be fun as well. Absolutely. If it was the best breakdance line, I'd be all over that. Of but, course. You know, the worm? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> uh, I want the